Hi there guys, I'm Justin and I'm here to guide you through the actual FX behaviors of ShareFactory. Now, the thing to keep in mind when it comes to FX on ShareFactory is that it's going to apply to the visible parts of the clip. That means that if a clip part is hidden, it's not going to actually be applied to the FX. The FX is only going to show for the duration where you placed it to the end of the visible part of the clip. What that means we'll go through and as we go through the actual tutorial. So we're going to be using a clip from Legend, of course, so that we can better demonstrate what we're talking about with these effects. Now what we were going to try to do is make an impact actual sticker show at the time that we want it to. So we're just going to rewind, place the playhead at the exact position we want it to appear. That's actually going to be our definition point for the sticker appearing at. So we apply. <laughs> we don't go into split, but we go into apply FX, we place the sticker, we have all the normal opacities and transforms that we are used to, and we place it at the frame. This is going to be our defined starting point. Now this is going to be locked to this position and then display for the rest of the clip. What happens is, is like this is going to go off of what's visible to the clip based on whatever you trimmed it, or if it's the full size, it's going to be the full size of the clip. You're going to be able to change that though if you trim the clip at all. So what happens when you actually trim a clip is that it changes the starting position of the visible clip. Your, tr your FX are actually defined by the starting point of the clip and then where you've told the clip to show up things. So if you change the starting point of the clip, the sticker effects actually moves with that clip and it's going to normal behavior display for the rest of the clip. So to fix that, all you would need to do is either trim the clip back to where you originally had it, or just simplest move I have is snip. Is I just use snip, position the clip exactly at the frame it was. It's going to remove that part of the clip and place the sticker exactly back where I originally had it. Now the last part we'll talk about is actually stopping as FX. The, you don't really want a sticker to show for the entire duration of your clip, so one way you're going to do that is by splitting the clip. That will create a whole nother clip, basically a copy or a duplicate of it, but it will start at that exact same position that you split it at. Now when you first play this, you'll see a small skip probably, or something that uh, looks like it's not exactly syncing up right. That's simply the system reinterpolating a new clip. So if you skip around a little bit or replay the same section a couple of times, it will eventually catch up and it will be completely seamless and you will see none of that actually happening in your renders or your exports. So now that we have an idea of the more basic behaviors of stickers and what will affect them and what won't affect them, now we can come back to actually a more advanced way of coming at this. So let's say you have a situation where you're close to the 40 clip limit and you can't split anymore but you still want to add some effects into your projects the way to get around this is going to be to actually trick it by understanding that it's all about what's visible to the FX so you're going to end the clip where you want the sticker to stop I know this sounds backwards but it's kind of actually it, it'll make sense as you go forward so you stop the clip exactly where you want the sticker you're about to place to stop. You s delete the rest of the clip. Well, not really delete, but you're trimming it. You're getting rid of all of the extra source that it doesn't know about. You split it or trim it or uh, snip it, whatever you need to do. Now you place the sticker at the exact point you want it to start, meaning there's nothing left for the sticker to see for the rest of the clip. This will, in effect, make the sticker stop at that point. Now you can trim the clip back out to the full size and it will appear and stop at the exact positions you defined without having to go through the extra steps of trying to figure out what clip am I going to get rid of in my huge project that I've worked so hard to get through. Now you can actually apply all of these effects and all of these extra features to your stickers and, or not to your stickers, but your, to your clips and your overall project without any penalty whatsoever. Hope this helps and you guys find it useful. Catch you later.